Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, before I start the video, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has been leaving all those comments down below in all our previous videos. We do our very, very best to read through all the comments and also respond to as many as possible. Yeah, so one comment that we've gotten a lot is a request for subtitles. And we are so happy to announce that we have subtitles in both English and in Malay. To access those subtitles, it's going to look a little different depending on how you're viewing this video. Um, it's either going to be clicking on the three dots or on the CC button. The other comment that we've been getting over and over again is actually do a reaction to another video titled 24 Hours on Tree by Viviona. And so, uh, so many of you have sent me personal email, you've sent messages in the comments down below, and because of that, we want to do that for you. We are usually not a reaction channel, but we're doing this because you guys want this. So thank you for your suggestions and keep letting us know down below. I want to highlight three comments from people. Uh, one is from Klum Kabot, one is from Shirei Yukehime, and the other one is from Christopher Serapin. Uh, Christopher actually went on to say that by us reacting to this video, we could most likely open up the hearts of many youngsters and also inspire more people. And with the thought of that we could inspire more people, absolutely, we want to do that. And so thank you for that suggestion and we're going to try to inspire more people. Yeah, and so we actually have no clue what this video is about. All we know is about a girl spends 24 hours in a tree. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited just to jump in and watch it and yeah. find out. Let's do it. Jadi kita terpaksa memanjat pokok ini. Sekiranya kita ingin mendapatkan internet connection yang kuat sepanjang exam berlangsung. Sebenarnya begini betul first first cerita dia kenapa aku tiba-tiba buat challenge 24 jam di atas pokok. What's up everybody? So hari ini bermula sudah exam kami. Video saya yang sebelum ni saya ada buat pondok di atas bukit itu adalah untuk persediaan exam kami. Jom sama-sama experience exam online. Let's go. Kita hampir sampai ke puncak bukit di mana aku buat tu pondok. Sekarang menunjukkan jam 6.43 eh 6.43. Sebenarnya aku baru habis menorek kita apa tadi? Uh, mula jam Apa tu? Jam. Adik. Oh my gosh. What happened? Tu kamu tengok ni. Oh no. Oh no. pondok yang kita sudah buat rusak. Oh, minggu lalu kuat hujan. Kotangin lagi mungkin sebab tu lah kali runtuh. Tidak tahu lah. Tapi mustahil lah runtuh sebab kuat juga. Aku pasti kuat juga aku pasang tu. Aduh, macam mana ni? Tidak apa, kita balik dulu di rumah sekejap. Ada lagi masa. Sekarang baru jam 6.50 lebih. Exam jam 9. Begitulah ceritanya. Dipendekkan cerita, aku sudah buat pondok untuk persediaan exam. Aku sudah buat video, kamu boleh tengok lepas ni. Tapi pondok tu rosak sebab aku lama sudah tidak pergi di pondok tu. Oh, Berminggu-minggu sudah sebab aku kan banyak kerja, aku kerja di ladang lah, menari kita lah, tolong parents lah. Jadi aku tidak tahu keadaan pondok tu. Kali tadi pagi aku cek, rosak sudah. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this makes me feel like complaining about any inconvenience in my life is very trivial mm -hmm. when i was in university i always had a library to study in i always had internet connection if i didn't want to study in the library there's mm -hmm. coffee shops like she made herself a hut <laughs> to study what like yeah that's ugh, that is i felt so like heartbroken when I she know. when she just said when she you know looked at the hut that she actually built to study and it's like broken like, that's so sad. I would have started crying right then and there. Yeah, and like, we have all these necessities with us, and she had to build a hut just to study. That's... That is dedication, yeah. and it's just so amazing to see, too. She talks about helping out her parents, tapping rubber, mm -hmm. everything, like, mm -hmm. on top of trying to better herself, get an education. She's doing all these responsibilities yeah. for her family. Just... And one thing I noticed is that she wasn't, like, 
depressed immediately, right? She was like, oh, I still have hope. Let's let's take this as a challenge because I think she said challenge after that. I think she's she had, she's very hopeful. Yeah. She's very optimistic and positive. Yeah. That that's would... that's so great about her already. That's already seen in this first two minutes of the video. That would not have been my initial reaction. So she's kudos to her. Yeah. Jadi kita terpaksa memanjat pokok ini sekiranya kita ingin mendapatkan internet connection yang kuat sepanjang exam berlangsung. Aku ada bawa phone dan bawa bank. Lepas tu aku ada bawa satu botol air. Ini kita punya bekal. Wow. Lepas tu aku ada juga bawa satu kelambu. Uh, kelambu peninggalan ini moyang, kita kan stay sampai besok, jadi kita perlukan kelambu untuk uh, mencegah nyamuk. Walaupun kita sudah ada bawa uh, satu rasa nyamuk, tapi kita perlukan juga ini untuk extra protection. Dan juga uh, peralatan untuk exam. Kita ada bawa uh, beberapa helai kertas, kita ada bawa pensel, kalkulator. Jo, set up. So, inilah aktiviti kita hari ini Selain daripada menjawab exam online Kita juga berkemping di atas pokok So, sekarang ini jam 8.54 pagi Dah lama lagi exam What was that? That was giant, whatever that, that was. was. Some sort of bug. I would have freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like, just to talk about, like, she's actually doing her, like, online examinations right now. Well, first on of all, a tree. In a tree, on a phone versus on a laptop or something else like that. Oh my gosh. Wow. And it's chemistry. That's a very difficult subject. Dude, wow, this... I want to grow up to be like her. <laughs> It's amazing. That is resilience. Yeah. Kimia sudah habis dan petang ni disambung lagi dengan exam apa tu ah? Pengajian Malaysia. Memandangkan sudah tengah hari jadi kita perlu makan. Suspense is killing me with that bug. No, 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 no. Ooh. Sort of. Oh, it's a, it's a hornet. Oh, cool. Sort of. No, 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 no. Bahaya to sorun to. Just for the record, if I was in that situation right now, I would like, yeah, I'm going home. You know, like a hornet in my camping area. There's no chance I'm going to continue. Like, that's crazy. That thing's dangerous. The thing is huge. I wish there was, like, more perspective to, like, see just how large it is. In my mind, it's, like, this big. I know it's probably more like this big, which is still giant. <sighs> it's pretty huge. <sighs> but that, but as, I, as far as I know, hornets are pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to melepaskan si kawan. Tuna sudah dia, kecap, 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 sudah buka ini, cepat keluar, jangan kau gigit apinya, Noa, tangan, cari aku, jangan kau gigit, cepat, cepat, keluarlah, keluar, 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 keluarlah kau, cepat, maaf, Asian giant hornet, 
Giants nicknamed mm, Murder Hornet. Murder Hornet. Murder Hornet. Murder Hornet. Asian giant hornets are responsible for up to 50 deaths a year in Asia, especially in Japan, which has been dealing with the problem for thousands of years. But it takes multiple stings to kill a person. So, kawan-kawan, kesimpulannya, tubuhan tanah itu amatlah berbahaya kalau kamu pergi hutan. Hati-hati, tengok di bawah, tengok di tanah tuh, jangan sembarang pijak. Oh. Sebab tebuan tanah bisa membunuh kalau orang kerumun satu badan, oke? Okay? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, sekarang sudah jam 1.50. 1.50. What is? And, and the fact is like, she's casually like, okay, the hornets are deadly animals and they could kill you, but okay, it's time to go back to my studies now. <laughs> like, like that just didn't happen. <laughs> That's so crazy. She's so brave. I would have just gone home. I would have been like, there's hornets here. <laughs> Didn't you one time go camping and there was a frog and so you slept in your car instead yep. of in your tent? I abandoned the camp and I slept in the car. I... After seeing a frog. <laughs> yep. In my camp. I was like, yep. She <laughs> still took her exam with hornets around. She did, yep. Oh, all right. Empat lima belas nasi sudah semakin sejuk, so inilah kita punya dinner untuk hari ini. Dinner untuk hari ini adalah nasi sahaja. Just rice. So sekarang menunjukkan jam. Enam lima puluh tiga, bateri charge tinggal empat puluh empat peratus. Alright, so kalau kamu nampak dalam video pun muka saya tidak berapa jelas. Kita tidak kita tidak bawa lilin, kita tidak juga bawa touch light. So salah satu sumber cahaya hanyalah menggunakan telefon ini, menggunakan flashlight. Charge power bank aku pun tinggal tujuh peratus lagi. Jam 8 tepat guys, eh jam 8 satu minit sudah. Bateri charge masih 44 sebab aku tidak guna juga apa-apa tadi. Hari pun sudah malam, hari pun sudah gelap. Jadi um, harap-harap mama aku udah cari. No. Mesti dia cari juga tuh. Tapi aku sudah bagi tau aku pergi jalan, besok aku balik aku bilang. Harap-harap dia udah cari lah. Tengok lah macam mana kalau aku balik besok, macam mana reaction dia. Oh, mau baring dulu. Wow. Ya. Um, what would your mom's reaction be at 18 years old? Have you just told her, hey mom, I'm gonna go out in a tree for a day. See you tomorrow. Sounds like her mom doesn't know about it. <laughs> wow, she's brave. And let's talk about her food for a second. Like, all she's eating is just rice. Like, I complain about the food that I eat almost every day. Like, I want the best food. But she's just content with just eating rice wrapped in a leaf. Like, I've never even done that before. This girl is... Wow. She's definitely next level survivor. Yeah, she lives such a simple life and she's still so happy. Okay. Sebenarnya kalau malam kamu tidur jam berapa? Nanti kamu share lah di komen hmm. jam berapa kamu tidur setiap malam. Sebab kalau tempat kami kan gelap. Tempat kami belum ada elektrik lagi, jadi sebenarnya kami tidur kami tidur awal jam tujuh begitu, sok mau jimat lilin kan? Good night everybody, jumpa lagi besok. Jangan kamu tidur lewat lewat ah. Bye. Selamat pagi kawan-kawan. Jam berapa sore ni? Sekarang ni menunjukkan jam tujuh sepuluh minit, tujuh sepuluh minit. Nampak? Nah, tujuh sepuluh minit. Jadi hari ni ada lagi exam pula kan? Kemarin kita datang sini jam 
setengah jadi kita balik di rumah jam 7 aku belum cuci muka lagi oh. Dalena sangat tidur lah Banyak bunyi Bunyi-bunyi Sampai sudah Bude, kamu pergi mana? Ay, dari mana kau? Satu hari nak pulang Si mama mencari kau itu Sana aku di atas pokok Hah? Kamu tahu sarapan? Sarapan? Kau? Kamu sarapan pasti lah Aku tak akan menulis pasal doi Sudah aku tahu itu Ada juga aku tahu kan? Tu pendok pun rusak sudah. Ya ada nak rusak no? Nak berita kami tulis di dolai. Ada juga bak makan tiga lima pot. Nah sudah nak kamu sarapan. Wow guys. I thought she says her mom was mad, but that was a very mild <laughs> reaction. Yeah. But man, she is, wow. she's a trooper. Oh my goodness. Like for what she went through, and I think she said that she still had other exams that, that day, day, right? Mm -hmm. So she has more exams, she slept through the whole night on a tree, and she's preparing herself for second day of examinations. This girl's a trooper. Yeah, that really, like, and now I see with Christopher's comment about hopefully this mm -hmm. will inspire youth, it's so true that what obstacles we see as huge yeah. are so small in comparison to someone who lives in a village without electricity, without yeah. good internet connection that has to build a hut in order to study. Yeah. Guys, we should just be thankful. I think the moral of what I took from this video is that we should be so thankful that for what we have. Uh, we have so much things around us and we can use all the resources that we already have to make the best of our situation. I just look at my life and I see like I have so many amazing, I have a roof on my shoulder, I have great internet, I have a coffee maker to make coffee <laughs> for me. You know, she built a hut first and foremost, which obviously got destroyed. And now she stayed up on a tree just to study for her exams, take her examinations and yeah, live her life. That's so, so inspiring. Yeah. Wow. I think one thing that really struck me too was just her resilience and also her attitude. Her attitude was never one of defeat, of yeah. complaining. It was always this positive, like, all right, yeah. there's a hornet, get it up. Yeah. Okay, all right, there's this problem, fix it. Yeah. Um, and I think attitude is a huge thing that makes mm -hmm. a really big difference in your life. She was so optimistic and positive, right? So positive and optimistic about everything. And even though she had a problem, she was like, okay, let's, how do we solve this problem? As opposed to like, oh no, my life is over but she is focused on education is important for her you can you can see that she didn't admit defeat and not take her examinations she found a way to continue taking exams even though the hut was destroyed she's like i'm gonna go up on a tree i'm gonna camp here take my exams and she did it on her cell phone <laughs> chemistry that's amazing i am just honestly blown away by this girl yeah. Thank you so much for everyone who suggested this video. I am very, very touched by watching Yeah, that. guys, thank you so much for suggesting this video. This has really encouraged and inspired us <laughs> at the very least. So if you're watching, hopefully this video can just encourage you, bring some happiness to you, and inspire you today. So we'll be leaving Viviona's uh, video link down below. So please don't forget to go to her page and give her, show her all the love that you can. <laughs> yeah, and as always, thank you so much for watching our video. We really enjoy making them and we hope you enjoy watching them. If you do, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to see more of our content. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye guys.